Hi friends, this is Julie. I want to talk a little bit about step two today, step two in the Alcoholics Anonymous program. Um, step two is we came to believe in a power greater than ourselves that could restore us to sanity. Um, a lot of people have trouble with this step, myself included when I was in the beginning, um, because a lot of people are skeptical of the God idea. And even if they did believe in God like myself, I was uh, grown up with the idea of God. I went to church and things like that. Um, but I just couldn't see how this God was going to solve my alcoholism because he hadn't in the past. I felt like God had abandoned me and that, you know, and God hated me and I did all the wrong things and he wasn't going to help me. Um, so in our book, it uh, tells a little different story about God and it urges us to choose our own conception of God. Um, there are two places in the book where it asks us to make a choice. In We Agnostics, it says, Either God is everything or God is nothing. What was our choice to be? Um, well, my thinking had always got me uh, right here where I was um, in the gutter. And so I decided, what do I have to lose? I'm going to choose that God is everything and go with that. Um, there's another spot in the book where it says, we had but two alternatives, to go on to the bitter end or to accept spiritual help. I don't know about you, but I did not want to go to the bitter end. I accepted this spiritual help that people were talking about and just went with it. Um, again, I thought I had nothing to lose. Um, my thinking had always got me in all kinds of situations bad situations and basically got me drunk every single time um, so that didn't work for me but the God idea did um, I started to believe and again it's just your own conception of God like it can it doesn't have to be like this God in the clouds um, it could be nature it could be the ocean, just as long as it's a power that's greater than yourselves. I think what the the big book is trying to tell us is it just has to be something other than you. Um, again, because we got ourselves in this mess. So we can't solve a problem with the same mind that created it. Um, so... Yeah, just as long as it's not you, it's something higher than you. I don't recommend uh, like a doorknob or a chair. I've heard of that before. Um, but just something something other than you, something higher than you. Um, and then when you get to that point where you're ready to turn your will and your life over to this care of God, and I'm going to reiterate for the third time, why not try it? Because our thoughts and our actions got us in trouble every time. So, when we're ready, we're going to say the third step prayer. God, I offer myself to thee to build with me and do with me as thou wilt. Relieve me of the bondage of self so that I may better do thy will. Take away my difficulties so victory over them may bear witness to those I would help of thy power, thy love, and thy way of life. Amen. Now I realize that that's kind of some old language and it's a little hard to understand. In layman's terms, it's just God, guide me in my recovery. Show me how to live. Amen. Thank you. Have a great day.